All right, so we've got a bit of a surprise today. I've got uh, the old Lexus that we built a long time ago. The new owner's brought it around. He's just had it tuned. E85, big injectors. Uh, we're gonna go for a spin. So, um, got a little bit of a different console in this now. Built auto, bigger converter. Same size TO4? Yeah, same size TO4. Same size TO4 as I had. Um, oh, that E85, love it. Uh, 27, 28 pounder boost, 1650cc injectors, and um, yeah, apparently it's a different car. It's a monster. So, we'll see what it's uh, see what it's like. Oh my God! All right, my turn. Just can't get over it. I'm not used to driving this shifter. So, what converter's in this now? Uh, 3800. 3800. Yeah, right. Sounds nice and clean. And built box now. Yeah, built, built Gilroy's box. Yep. Uh, man so the MV uh, valve body that was in there Andrew modified yep. the manual side because trying to get a manual or trying to get another standard valve body seemed a bit hard so he just modified the MV valve body that was already in it <laughs> but it's still the same car that you can put in the third and cruise. Yeah. It's not, doesn't feel lazy when you're just cruising around, doesn't feel no. like a car that you can't street. Yeah, it's feel comfort. Honestly, it just feels like the old Lexus with different shifter and far more aggressive, far more aggressive on the gas. Uh, good times. Shot. A little bit of a staller. So the, uh, geez, let me get out of the sun. So the new owner of the uh, Lexus just left. And wow, it's obviously it's really hard to gauge how quick it is when you're driving on the street. Obviously you've got a, you know, speed limits and things like that, but just by the little squirts here and there, um, it's quick. It's a totally different car. Um, yeah, look, he's going out to roll racing tonight, uh, Saturday night roll racing out of Queensland Raceway, so um, I've given him a handful of cameras and some tips and tricks on what to do with some uh, camera footage, so hopefully we'll get some more footage of that and I'll upload that as soon as I get it because I am super keen to see how it goes against some well-known, really fast cars. Um, the setup on it is just mental now. He's got 255 or 265 um, semi-slicks on the back, um, some semi-slicks up, up front as well. Um, obviously to keep it, you know, a bit more planted at higher speeds. Um, yeah, look, uh, brakes and things like that. He's done a uh, LSD 
um, IS300 LSD, which again, these are all the things that I wanted to do with it, but I never really got around to doing it. So um, engine wise, it's the same TO4Z setup I had, high mount setup. Um, it had gone back to standard through another owner that bought it directly off me. Um, since the this owner bought it off that guy, and it's a long story, but anyway, basically put the, the setup that I had um, back on it, TO4Z high mount, um, all that sort of thing. So uh, he's got a MoTeC controlling it. I'm not sure which version. Um, 1650 Bosch injectors. Uh, still a 340 liter an hour fuel pump in it. Said it was about maxing out the fuel pump at about 440 odd horsepower at the rears at about 27, 28 PSI. Um, doesn't feel like it's only got 440 horsepower at the wheels. Um, keep in mind that's through a built auto with a 3800 converter. It's yeah, it's pretty mental. So, anyway, I'm keen to see what it uh, what it does at roll racing and some more footage. So, um, stay tuned.